Obi channel. Hi, subscribers and viewers of our Obi channel. I welcome you back to this wonderful channel. And I wish you a happy and a prosperous new year as well. In this video, we're going to talk about a product under Unify switching. And this is a new guy in town called the Unify Professional Max. It's a new product which has been added into the list of products of Unify products this year. This device features a 2.5 gig GBE and PoE++. This device is one of the unique devices produced by Unify which introduces ETA lighting or ETA lighting it simply means or this is the various means by which the device tells you the various speeds according to the light it broadcasts on on the various parts of the device the user experiences of this device with regards to deployment time is under 10 minutes it supports a PoE type of up to PoE++ and its PoE availability is up to 720 watts. In terms of performance, the switching capacity is up to 224 gigabits per second. Its RJ45 port speed is up to 2.5 gigabits per second the SFP port speed is up to 10 gigabits per second and with the special features the switching type it supports is layer 3 the power redundancy is with unified power backup and the ether lighting um, supports port location speed and VLAN this Unified Professional Max supports native VLAN and it identifies native VLANs with a glance. So, as you can see on the screen, this is how you can easily identify VLANs with just a glance, with just um, pressing on certain colors. And then the various ports which perhaps support VLAN will be able to give you the ether light on the system for you to know exactly what those various ports belong to. This device is able to instantly differentiate ports by speed and link. That is it is able to differentiate between the fast Ethernet port, GBE or Gigabit port Ethernet, and then 2.5 GBE, all by just Ether lighting on the various ports, giving it different colors according to how the configuration has been configured or how the configuration went on these various ports. Now, with, with regards to the port location, you can easily find any device in second, all by just searching within the ports to find particular unified devices which are connected to it. And so it's able to give you the information regarding those devices and these are mostly unified devices. Now we talk about the build features of this device. As you can see on the screen, when we talk about the build features, we have a touch screen, 1.3 touch screen with AR switch management. So it features this touch screen, which is very common on most unified switches. It also comes with 24 ports 
GB PoE plus RJ45 ports. It also features 8 GBE PoE plus plus RJ45 ports. It also supports 8 2.5 GBE PoE plus RJ45 ports and 8 2.5 GBE PoE plus plus RJ45 ports. It also features a reset button. A reset button is attached to it. It also comes with four 10 gigabit SFP plus ports and it supports 270 watt total PoE supply. And so remember that any device you're going to plug on to this unified PoE device or switch would or might or should support about 200 and about 720 watts of power of course we it has dc power backup embedded in it it supports power inputs of the dc type it has a layer 3 switching features as well and as you can see it has about four outlets for fun and it's ideal for 6 gigahertz wi-fi access point featuring 2.5 gbe ports for enterprise performances when we go further it also features about 48 ether lighting port that illuminate to indicate port location speed or link and native vlan or network okay it also supports poe plus plus output for downstream switches cameras access hubs and more and so these are various ports which supports poe plus plus and so you can actually plug in poe enabled devices for it to work effectively in terms of a typical scenario with regards to the deployment this is how you can say it at most times so you have the pro max 48 example 48 poe switch installed here and then you have various unified devices with regards to the cameras ip phones connect display and access points connected to it so this is a scenario of how it should look like when it's actually deployed in an office or a building or in a factory or other enterprises now let's do the comparisons between the various models that falls under this particular unified professional max we have the pro max 48 poe pro max 24 poe pro max 48 and then pro max 24 under these various models we have the port count down link speed up link speed poe output poe availability and then p and then power redundancy and so the Pro Max 48 PoE supports port count of about 48 plus 4 SFP plus. The Pro Max 24 PoE has a port count of 24 plus 2 SFP plus. And then the Pro Max 48 supports port count of up to 48 plus and then 4 sfp plus and then the last one which is the pro max for pro max 24 support port count of 24 plus 2 sfp plus in terms of the down lake the Pro Max 48 PoE supports up to 2.5 gigabits per second. 
the Pro Max 24 PoE supports up to 2.5 gigabits per second. The Pro Max 48 supports same and then the Pro Max 24 supports same. In terms of the uplink speed, all of them support 10 gigabits per second. When we come to the PoE output, we have the Pro Max 48 PoE supports up to PoE++. The Pro Max 24 PoE supports up to PoE++. And the Pro Max 48 and Pro Max 24 doesn't support any out PoE output. So these are just plain switches with no PoE capabilities. If we come to the PoE availability, Pro Max 48 PoE supports up to 720 watts and then Pro Max 24 PoE supports 400 watts. In terms of the power redundancy, Unify Backup Ready is available for Pro Max 48 PoE and the rest as well. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my videos, share my videos, like my videos and comment on my videos as well. Thank you very much and goodbye.